So there are two things that happened to me today that really pissed me off, and they both actually happened in the last two hours or so. The first one was when I came here and sat at my desk, the first thing I noticed was there's a really, really bad smell. And I found out that I stepped on shit. <laughs> I really, really hate that. Because as I've told you, I'm highly neurotic and I have a very structured and orderly temperament. But I also have a very high disgust sensitivity. So, yeah, I, I don't like it at all. And then, <clears throat> as if that wasn't enough, the second thing that happened to me was that the great video I made that was like eight minutes long about health and energy, I accidentally deleted it while saving some storage space on my phone. And I spent so much time, I think like the last 40 minutes, I tried to recover it somehow, but it doesn't work. <laughs> so I sort of accepted the fact that it's gone. And I think that's a really good segue into what I plan to talk about right now, which is the idea of using truth and basically speaking truth as the basis of order and having a good life. When I say speaking truth, what I mean is stating the facts. So avoiding interpretation and avoiding opinion. Now, the way you feel, that is a fact. So if somebody has said something to you and it made you feel horrible, then let's say that it makes you feel very anxious. So if you say, what you just said made me feel very anxious, that is a fact. It's not an opinion. It's something that factually happened. Now, there are basically two forms of uh, the way things happen. There's the form of order, and then there's a form of chaos. So order means that things are going pretty much according to plan. Uh, emotions are positive mostly, and you're very rational. Chaos is when irrationality enters. Chaos is when somebody cr just goes past you while you're waiting in a line. Chaos is when your boss, if you're a male or a female, starts making sexual advances towards you that you do not approve of. Chaos is when friends or partners or family treat you in a way that makes you feel like something is wrong and like you're being bullied or something that just doesn't feel right. So you know chaos. Chaos is stressful, it's ambiguous, it's unclear, you don't know what's happening. It's that's when the emotions kick in. You feel bad, you feel, you know, anxious, stressed, angry. And the way out of chaos, so the fastest way out of chaos is speaking the truth. That is the way you go back to power, to your power as a person. And it doesn't matter if you're being bullied, if somebody's lying to you, if you feel like somebody is disrespecting you. The quickest way to get out of chaos and get back into your power and to order is speaking the truth. So you are on a date with your boyfriend or girlfriend or wife or husband and suddenly they say something that makes you feel bad. Instead of going on the defensive or ignoring it and hiding it and then taking it out later, you simply say, what you just said made me feel bad. That is the truth. From there, you can progress. You're actually in your power because you're aligning reality with what's going on inside you. And that's really the issue is that when people act wrongly towards you or when your inner environment changes in a bad way, what happens is there's no longer a sync. There's not a synchronization, a match between your inner state and inner beliefs with what the outer world is presenting. So somebody's acting in a way that's disrespectful or, or malevolent towards you. That is 
strictly against the way you perceive life and that puts you into chaos because now there's a discrepancy between you and the world so in order to set that discrepancy right you first of all have to point out to it so this is not going properly so again somebody is disrespectful you simply say the way you talk to me makes me feel disrespected now it's out there now you can actually start bridging the gap now this might not mean that person will understand but that's okay you can just leave now because you spoke the truth you put it out into the world and you don't have to hide it anymore if your inner environment changed meaning you became again anxious or felt jealous or bad because of something someone said to you or did to you there's a discrepancy between the outer which is which seems normal and the inner which is not normal so now again you put out the discrepancy through there so this made me feel sad what you just said made me feel jealous you don't say because you're like this and you're like that and all interpretations and opinions you just state the facts when you said that it made me feel like this bam you're back in your power and this is how you always stay in your power so why is this relevant to the example that i gave earlier the reason is because i was failing to speak or acknowledge the truth that i knew all along and wasted 40 minutes of my time by trying to recover my lost video so i deleted the video and i'm pretty tech savvy so i knew with a fair amount of certainty that the video is gone because uh, when you delete it from the garbage you know it's pretty much gone and i just i couldn't accept it because i really 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 liked the video and was you know a full face video and it was done really well but uh you know you made a mistake you made a mistake so i got into chaos because again the world presented me with a discrepancy i believed that the video should be there like because i knew i did it I, I i made sure it was good but it wasn't there <laughs> and that was really really painful so by not speaking truth by not saying it's gone that led me on 40 minutes of downloading shady software that su supposedly will recover my video uh, of course none of them worked uh, yeah it was pretty really pretty fucking terrible so this is how it relates to the idea of speaking truth this is just because most people wouldn't even think of this example uh, but I think it's highly related so any place in your life where there's a discrepancy between your internal state and the outer world uh, again everything looks okay outside but inside you feel bad or an outside discrepancy where inside everything's normal but outside things are not good so like somebody treating you in a bad way or something looking suspicious then you want to point out the discrepancy that is how you deal with disorder and chaos and stay in your power to abolish them or to arrange them again I do not mean that if your partner gets you angry you say you made me angry you're an idiot I hate you blah 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 that's interpretation completely interpretation not a single factual statement what you do want to do in this situation is to tell your partner look when you said this it made me feel angry and now you can actually talk about it and you can figure out whether the thing that was said was the problem or whether your reaction to the thing that was said was the problem or whether it was both and it does not put the other person on the defensive because you didn't say look you're wrong you're annoying you say stupid thing you didn't say anything like that all you said was when you said x i felt angry 
it's not personal, it's a fact, and now you can deal with it. And also, if you deal with people and you do tell them the truth like that, and they respond negatively, so you tell that person, look, again, when you said this, I felt like this, and they start getting on the defensive and getting angry at you like for sharing it, like, no, how dare you? It's not okay. I'm not like this. It's not, and basically completely spin the argument. You can try again fixing the discrepancy by telling the truth and saying, look, I said that when you said it, I felt negative. I didn't say that you said something wrong. That's one step you can do. But if that person does not understand it and keeps being on the defensive, that person just gave you the best evidence of why you should not be with them because what it means is like, hey, you just put me out of the, you just put yourself out of the box that I want you to be in. Like, I want you to be like this. You're not supposed to share these kinds of things with me. And so, you know, there's not a true relationship there. It's a relationship with the image that they have of you rather than who you are. So it, it is virtually impossible to maintain chaos or a negative relationship while speaking the truth. And this goes to far-reaching magnitudes. Even if, if you think of Alexander Solzhenitsky uh, and the book he wrote called The Gulag Archipelago, which he wrote shortly after coming back from uh, Soviet Russia, being in prison there, this book is a 1,600-page mammoth that was the first documented, completely historically accurate uh, telling of what was going on in Soviet Russia. So this book alone was the single biggest factor in basically bringing down the Soviet regime at the time because... Everybody loved Stalin. Like, there was so much censorship and propaganda. Nobody knew what was going on. And suddenly, it was revealed to the world. And it wasn't an opinion. It wasn't like, I think this, I think that. It was a book about facts. And simply stating the facts of what happened snapped people out of their hypnosis, especially the Russians, and made them realize that their great leader was actually a Psycho psychopathic murder. So this is uh, just so you realize the type of magnitude that these things go, and even if you look at the ancient stories, like the Bible, or even more ancient, the the, the most ancient uh, culture and religion known to man was the Mesopotamians, and I actually learned this from Jordan Jordan Peterson that they worshipped a god named Marduk, which was the god of gods. And he became that god by defeating a monster called Tiamat, who was like the god of chaos. Now, all the other gods could not beat Tiamat, the god of chaos. Nobody could even match him, not even an army. But what was special about Marduk was he had eyes all over his head. So he had the ability to see everything at all times. And at the same time, his power, his ability as a god, was through his speech. So he could speak words unto the, the world, speak truth, and that would change the world. So how did he win? How did he kill Marduk? He basically put him in a net, so he captured it encapsulated it, which is exactly what I'm telling you to do now, to structure the chaos into a specific box, the discrepancy, by speaking the truth. And then what he did was, using the tr spoken truth, he sliced him up into thousands of pieces and then built the world out of them, which means used conflict and chaos to actually build something new. So even back then, they had this deep truth that the highest ideal that you can strive for is seeing and speaking truth. 
So being very aware of what you see and speaking it into the world with truth. Again, not opinions, not interpretations. Facts and truth. And it's, it's astounding. It's really astounding how deep this practice will take you by facing the things you see and pointing out the truth using facts. The fact of the situation, the fact of the emotion, the facts that go into the reality that you live in. Even bullies can't stay bullies out of once they face somebody who speaks the truth. Because by speaking the truth, you know, bullies and evil people, they can only survive in the dark. Because if you live in a just and fairly well-adjusted society, then when people see evil acts, then they go against them, they shun them. So anything from theft to bullying to physical aggression or intimidation, it does not survive in daylight. It does not survive when you speak truth onto it. So try thinking of everything in your life that is currently relevant to you, the various sources, sources of chaos. And some of these are very apparent, like a very bad relationship. And some of these could be very hidden, like hidden potential sources of chaos. Like the example that you haven't taken care of your health for a while. So observe and speak the truth. And by speaking and sharing the truth, chaos becomes order. So by talking to people and telling them that you haven't been taking care of your health, which is a fact, things will start to change. So chaos begins to pack itself into order and you take it again, you cut it into thousands of pieces and you make the world out of it. So out of that chaos of, hey, I'm not in good health, you can actually create something amazing, which is I'm in amazing health because you spoke it, you spoke the truth, and now it's beginning to change. It's beginning to, the discrepancy is beginning to come back to harmony. So this is my message for today. I'm only going to make one video today because I want to focus on reading. I want to get at least six, seven hours of reading done today. Uh, still pretty bummed that I lost the video, but you know, I pretty much got the material down, so I'm going to re-record it probably tomorrow. So thanks for listening, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.